I'm Elf Le Coutre. I'm a postdoctoral researcher at the Institute of Development Policy at the University of Antwerp. I study gender relations and other power relations and how they influence the way people make decisions about resources that they manage together. Working together with HRNS not only made it possible to assess the impact of the gender household approach, but also to scientifically prove that by changing the way decisions are made in farming households, you can make smallholder farming more efficient and more gender equitable. The Gender Household Approach is an initiative by HNS to promote joint decision making, planning and vision setting for men and women in coffee growing households in Tanzania. In HRNAC Household Approach, we bring the women and the men together to improve farming. Change agents are selected couples in their farmer organization. They are implementing these activities in their own households and also advertise them within their communities. So we implemented the gender household approach and particularly the change agent training which is an intensive training of couples in joint decision making and we compared these with control groups who got a less intensive training and no training. What we aim to achieve in this seminar is to increase women participation. Also we, we aim to achieve that we increase number of leaders. We also conducted lab in the field experiments. In these experiments, couples, the spouses, each have to make decisions on tokens that re represent money and decide how many tokens they want to invest in the common household farm and how many they want to keep for themselves. <laughs> We also see that change agent couples um, increase their coffee income more than others and they're more likely to be food secure. So these results indicate that this intensive change agent coaching can make smallholder farming more efficient. In terms of gender equity and women empowerment, uh, we found that the intensive change agent coaching um, made women to be more involved in like important strategic household uh, decisions and about the use of recommended practices for coffee. They are better informed about the coffee income and they own a larger share of the household livestock. Well, we also learned that changing intra-household decision-making takes probably longer than one year to really realize because it goes against norms and customs that people are used to since childhood. By emphasizing the common goal of the husband and the wife and by emphasizing a fair distribution of the benefits of their efforts, they encourage husband and wife to strive for the best for their household and their household farm. At the same time, the gender household approach empowers women by explicitly promoting that they have a voice in important decisions in the household. And in contrast to some other women empowerment interventions, it avoids that men feel that the empowerment of women comes at the expense of men. My interest is to save the marginalized the person, the people who have no voice. Um, I do what I do because I believe in a just world where both men and women can have a good life. And I hope my research is a little contribution.